Gusto mo bang malaman kung ano mga ways para kitain mo yung first 10,000 pesos mo online in just 30 days? Tulong imposible ba? Hmm, I don't think so. In this video, bibigyan kita ng 5 proven methods na galing mismo sa experience ko at sa successful strategies na na-compile ko from other successful people na nakuha nila yung first 10,000 pesos nila online. We are living in a digital era and mostly 98% of the Filipinos are still missing out on so much online. Pero as long as you have the skills to do the job correctly and you can earn up to 10,000 pesos minimum. But first, let me say that some of the methods na isi-share ko sa inyo na hindi guaranteed na mag-work sa'yo. But knowing this will put you on a better spot and the best possible opportunities to do so. Okay, let's break it down. Strategy 1. Freelance writing or graphic designing. Coach, ano ba itong freelance writing at graphic design? I'm sure na marami kang nakikita sa social media na mga pictures sa may captions or yung mga ads sa mga ganda yung mga design. Then, may magagandang mga captions na hindi hindi mo may iwasan basahin or tingnan. Siguro may iba sa inyo na mafe-feel na ay parang mas maganda pa yung kawa ko dyan. Yung mga magagandang graphics or yung mga pictures na mga nakikita mo or yung mga pictures na nakikita mo sa post ay gawa ng isang graphic designer. At yung mga captions at yung mga text naman na nakalagay sa post ay gawa ng isang writer. So paano ka naman makaka-apply as a freelance writer or a graphic designer? One proven actionable step is to create your own profile on Upwork. Marami naghahanap ng mga writers and graphic designers these days kasi online na halos lahat ng mga businesses sa buong mundo. Being a writer doesn't limit lang naman sa pagsusulat ng captions. Pwede ka na naman magsulat ng script, trends, tweets, emails, blogs, at etc. The same goes as well sa graphic designer. Pwede ka na mag-design ng mismong product, posters, packaging, illustrations, etc. Kung may mga previous work ka na sa writing at graphic design, upload it into your portfolio, start applying for short-term projects, and showcase your best work. If you can learn the creative skills needed or meron ka na mga skills dito, mga platforms like Upwork and other jam sites can be your gold mine. Now, kung hindi mo naman, tinutukoy yung sarili mo as a creative or nag-aalangan ka sa creative creative skills mo kasi mas magaling ka sa technical skills mo at kaya mong ituro yung knowledge and experience mo well this leads us on our next strategy tutoring online one of the best ways to leverage your knowledge and experience is my tutoring online coach parang naman to nag work basically parang nagre-report ka lang sa school mo or to be more straightforward tinuturo mo yung skills and experience mo kung nag-excel ka sa isa or or mandaming subjects like math, English, science, or any other subjects na interesado ka, pwede mo ituro yung mga nalalaman mo to other people na nag struggle or gustong matutunan kung ano yung natutunan po. Let's say, magaling ka sa math. You can have a client na gusto mong tutulong math and willing to pay you a minimum of 300 pesos per hour. Kung magaling ka talaga at alam mo kung ano yung tinuturo mo, you can tutor your client just over an hour a day and you can reach 10k easily. Coach, how po? Dito naman sa tutoring, pwede ka mag-sign up sa mga platforms like tutor.com and create a profile on local classified para i-offer mo yung tutoring services mo. This is one of the great ways to leverage your knowledge and make a quick income. Now, kung hindi ka pa rin confident sa creative and teaching skills mo like writing, graphic designing, and tutoring, well, kung meron ko mga extra gamit na hindi mo naman ginagamit, the third strategy is you can sell your products online. This is the most straightforward way to earn your money online. And dito na rin ako nag-start sa journey ko. For example, dito sa phenomenon na parel, nung bumibili ako ng mga damit sa Taytay Rizal, na mga okay-okay, na mga nasa gilid-gilid lang, ang binibenta nila is nasa 50 to 150 pesos per windbreakers or jackets. Ngayon, kapag pumapasok na ako sa skwelahan ko, gusto nilang bilhin yung mga damit ko. Dahil nagagandaan sila. Kaya ko, binenta ang aking windbreakers and jackets 
sa kanila 10 times the price kasi may brand din naman eh. Ngayon, kumita ako dahil doon lang sa pagbebenta ng aking gamit. Ngayon, dahil doon, doon na rin nag-start ako mag-build ng aking brand na phenomenon apparel no ako ay nasa college pa. Kaya, isa yun sa mga ways para kumita ka ng first 10,000 pesos mo online. You can just find any products that you can see or sell na nakikita mo na hindi mo naman ginagamit or if meron ko nakikita mga binibentang gamit online na in demand is pwede kang maghanap ng mga supplier through Shopee, through Lazada, through Divisoria, through anything or anywhere na makakahanap ka na mas mura kaysa binibenta nila online. Kumuha ka nun at ibenta mo online at tumubo ka na lang at pwede ka kumita na first 10,000 pesos mo online. Let's say, meron ka nakita mga gamit na nakatambak lang sa kwarto mo na hindi mo naman siya nagagamit and in pristine condition pa or kung meron ka mga ginagawang homemade crafts or homemade foods, you can make your first 10,000 online by actively promoting your products on social media. Pero paano ka makakabenta ng gamit online? Well, ask yourself these three questions. Ano ba yung mga products na meron ako na pwede kong ibenta. Saan ko makahanap yung mga customers ko? At ano yung gusto nila? You can go sa mga marketplace like Facebook Marketplace and join any selling communities para mag-research ng mga gamit na pwede mo ibenta. Identify products that you can sell. Create a social media page for marketing. You can use Facebook or Instagram and post your items with attractive photos and descriptions. Once natama ang approach mo sa pagbebenta, then hindi na ako magtataka kung mag exceed pa yung earnings mo lag past 10k. So we're off to a great start. Pwede ka mag freelance writing or graphic design. You can leverage your knowledge by tutoring online and you can sell your products online. Now, we are going to proceed with a fourth strategy na pwede mong gamitin para ma-earn yung first 10k mo. Kung may sasakyan ka or may vehicle ka na pwede mong magamit then pwede pwede to para so you so let's break it down strategy for ride sharing or delivery services. I'm pretty sure na sikat na sikat na ito ngayon. Like yung mga ride sharing app like Grab, Alcas, Movie It, or yung mga delivery services like Lalamove, Tok Tok, etc. At kung meron ko vehicle na nakaregister sa'yo, sa'yo ha, baka mamaya, alam mo na, pwede yung pwede mong gamitin yung vehicle na meron ka para maka-earn an average of 500 per day easily. This is how part-time Grab drivers earn their money. It's either may ihahatin silang pasahero or maghahatin sila ng gamit from point A to point B. Kung meron ka namang motor yung sayo ah, at gusto mong mag all day at may bayad, you can apply sa Altas, Move It, Joyride, para mag-take ng mga passengers na gusto magpahatin sayo through motorcycle from point A to point B. Pero hindi puro kahit na may vehicle ka, isulit na magtrabaho agad-agad. Of course, you must undergo and complete the necessary trainings once na mag-apply ka to become a driver for Grab, Lalamove, Alcas, etc. Apply to become a driver, complete the necessary trainings, and start accepting jumps. So, to reiterate, strategy 1, freelance writing or graphic design. Strategy 2, tutoring online. Strategy 3, selling products online. Strategy 4, ride sharing or delivery services. And finally, ginawa ko tong last. Kasi I'm sure na this one is one of the hardest yet the most high leveraging ways para ma-earn mo yung first 10k mo online. It may siya imposible. Pero the whole point ng video na ito is to give you ways para malaman mo yung 5 practical ways to earn at least 10k in the next 30 days. And this last but not the least strategy that you can leverage to earn online is by offering digital 
marketing services. Like I said in the first minutes ng ating video, we are living in a digital era. Most of our businesses ngayon is online na. So it would make so much sense to offer your digital marketing services sa mga local or foreign businesses in exchange for commission and compensation. So, ang daming paraan para maging digital marketer online. Ikaw na ba kung ano gusto mong piliin sa list na ibibigay ko sa'yo? Social media marketing, search engine optimization, or SEO, website design and development, Facebook and Instagram advertising, content marketing, email marketing, and so much more. Sobrang dami pa yan. And to run a successful business, sobrang importante ng marketing, mas lalo na digital marketing. And that said, I'm pretty sure na sobrang daming opportunities na pwede mong i-reach out para i-offer yung mga services mo online. And if you're good and pinag-aralan mo talaga, yung digital marketing service na gusto mong i-offer na pwede kang bayaran ng 10,000 pesos per month minimum per month po yun at isang client lang yun okay, pero bago kita i-overwhelm sa mga opportunities na pwede mong makuha dito, I'll just show you how you can leverage this to earn a substantial income now, kapag meron ka nakuha na isang service na gusto mong matutunan sa list na binigay ko kanina or kung ano yung digital marketing service service na na-research mo for starters and you can reach out sa mga small businesses in your area at i-offer yung mga services mo para ma-enhance yung online presence nila. As long as you put in the work at nagkaka-resource ka sa mga client mo, you can use them as your case study and include them in your portfolio to attract and reach out to more businesses. Of course, the more na gumagaling ka, ang nakapagbigay ka ng results sa client mo, the more na marami kang ma-attract at mapapataas mo yung chances mo na makakuha pa ng ibang clients. No, I'm not saying na this will be guaranteed na ibarang-barang mo na yung gawa mo na makakakuha ka na kagad ng income dito. Siyempre, meron mga times na mapagod ka, na discourage at feel mo wala kang progress. But in order to find success, kailangan mo maputro sa mga trials at hardships sa buhay mo. Kasi yun yung rason kung bakit nagiging worth it yung success na makukuha mo. Tandaan mo, lahat na worth it sa mundo is kailangan ng sipag at tiyaga para makuha mo yung success na gusto mong makamit. So, leverage these five strategies na pwede mong pagkakitaan and of course, reinvest it to more opportunities para sa ikalalago ng buhay mo. Now, kung meron ka ng mga pinagkakitaan at nagkaharap ka na ngayon na ay mapang ways para mapalago pa yung pera mo at hindi ka sure kung saan ka mag-start ulit, you can click this video kung ano yung mga asset and opportunities na ginanap ko para managdagan at mapabilis yung success ko.